takes it the other way. Down the right side. Jump pass Arisha. A three for the lead. It's good. Back to Odom. Reverse layup is good. The Lakers are destroying the magic confidence. The Lakers are NBA champions once again. L.A. wins the 2009 NBA title. He established himself. As you see the locker room, the celebration beginning. Uh, winning the championship early with Shaquille O'Neal. He said it wasn't a big deal, but this was his team, and he led them to a title. Well, he did, and I think when you talk about the Lakers' greatness, it takes a, a balanced team, and they got that with Pau Gasol. I, I think this, every championship you win elevates your greatness, but I didn't think he needed this championship to be considered one of the all-time greats. And you could say the same thing for Phil Jackson in terms of it. Um, I mean, he's one of the great coaches of all time. This gives him number 10. And there's always talk about, well, he's had the best player. He's had Michael Jordan, and he's had Kobe Bryant. But it's more than just that. The Lakers wrap up their 15th NBA title, beating the Magic four games to one. Kobe Bryant, 10 of 23 from the field, 30 points, six boards, five assists. Named finals MVP, he's with Mark Jones. All right, with Kobe Bryant of the Los Angeles Lakers with his fourth NBA title and your first Kobe Finals MVP. How, how is this one different from the previous three? You know, it's, it's tough to say it's a little sweeter, but it, it, it kind of is. You know, because we had such a young crew in last year in the finals, you know, we learned so much. And then to have a goal in mind to come back this season and to accomplish that goal, you know, with this group, is, is, uh, is just extremely special. How much of the seeds of success for this year were sown last year at about this time when you watched the Boston Celtics celebrate on their home floor and you guys stood out there as the confetti rained well, down on you. you know, completely, totally, you know, because we understood that we got beat by a team that was uh, very tough on the defensive end and on the rebounds. I mean, they, they were very consistent at it and we were, you know, uh, inconsistent. So that's one of the things that we need to adjust coming into this season and it feels good to, you know, have a goal in mind than to be able to accomplish that. How is your leadership style different from the previous year? Um, you know, it's, it's, it's always been the same, really. It's just, you know, I got a group of guys that we, we, we all, you know, understand what the goal is. And they understand my leadership style. They've been around me for a while, and they embrace it. Kobe, you've had a heck of a run over the last year. You've played some 208 NBA games, uh, including regular season playoffs, not counting the gold Olympic uh, effort that you had over in China. What do you do for an encore now? <laughs> Get some rest. <laughs> Get some rest. Get some rest and just just soak this all in, man. I mean, it's it's been a, it's been a long couple years. What does this title mean for the way that people perceive you out there? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's uh, you know, a lot of people say you know, the first championship without Shaq and all that sort of stuff. And to me, that's always been you know something that didn't make any sense. You know, Kareem's everyone, you know, that had a tough time winning without Magic. You won with Oscar Robinson. You know, Michael and Pip and all these great combinations. So I, I never really put any stock into it, um, but I heard people saying that. So, you know, we as a team, I think we embraced that challenge. In the wake of your championship victory tonight, uh, your former teammate Shaquille O'Neal tweeted tonight and said, Kobe, congratulations. You deserve it. Your thoughts on that? Uh, well, I, I greatly appreciate it. You know, obviously, it's, it's something that, you know, we, we've won titles together. And, and so, you know, for him to, to, to say that and to be happy for the success that I'm having here with this ball club feels good. Difficult. When you talk about the wing players, though, you've got to put Kobe Bryant right up there behind Michael Jordan as, I think, the greatest off guard in the history of the game. And to me, that's really where you have to keep this within context of what your responsibilities are with your position and what you bring to the table. But... I'll say this, Kobe Bryant could be. The Lakers move on to the second round. What a shot by Fisher. Uh-oh, he went right over Bryant. As they survive, and now advance to the Western Conference final. Sideline by Carter against Odom. He comes in and stolen by Ariza. What a play from Kobe Bryant. Kobe, congratulations. Good luck in the finals. Bryant now with 40 points, most he's ever scored in a finals game. The Lakers take game one of the 2009 finals. Fisher puts up the three, ties the game. We're going to overtime for the second time of these finals. Derek Fisher with another clutch three. The 
Lakers are going to take the 3 1 lead in this series. Nice reverse play. Lamar Odoms, Kobe Bryant, and the finish. It's official. The Lakers are NBA champions once again. LA wins the 2009 NBA title.